I've been thinking a lot in general, really, but um, there's been a lot going on. It got me in my head a lot, which I'm in my head a lot anyways. Um, whether or not that's a good thing is obviously debatable. But well, one of those one of those things is what's what sort of what's the point of this channel and is some change justified? So what I what I do have definitely is um, what I've been doing with the channel. It's not like I, I don't understand what I'm doing myself. <laughs> of course, I have at least some idea, but um, sort of what the what it is that I'm getting out of it because it's not. This has never been about, you know, popularity or anything like that. Um, for those who don't know, I, I have been making videos. Uh, the, the earliest ones are bad, bad, but I've been making videos since uh, 2016. So it's it's been a while. Um, four, almost five years now. And what, floating around 450 subscribers right now, clearly not putting in the effort to try to optimize like high sub counts. It's not to say that I haven't been improving things, that I haven't been working on anything, but also like if the yield is that low, if I've been doing this for four, almost five years now, and I'm looking at a that low of a sub count. What's motivating me? Because I clearly know when to call it quits with other things. Um, Data Tools was a neat little thing that had existed for not even an entire year. Uh, it did wind up spawning the work that became stringier. Um, largely put on hold because of noticing the tremendous inadequacies that I felt were limiting my ability to, to to do the kinds of things that I wanted to do. And I had similar aspirations. Anyways, there's a, a set of com both parts of the compiler that I, I, I want to be developing. And it makes... I feel it makes more sense to get that foundation in place and then potentially spawn up the project again. We'll, we'll see exactly uh, how I feel about that, but um, that it just made more, more sense to, to go that route. Um, similarly, Laban was a neat little experiment, but fighting with Nat is just too irritating. I'd be spending so much time working around assumptions that are made and whatnot that it, it wouldn't be regularly making progress in the in the runtime itself. There are other examples, but those are the two most public things, the two most public cases of, hey, I'm doing this thing. I'm making progress, but there are reasons why that it's not justified pursuing this. So I've pursued videos on YouTube for four, almost five years now with the typical metric that people are using not being what's motivating me. What is motivating me then? Because if it, if it was that, I would have stopped a while ago or had changed my approach with things to... to you know, better optimize that side of things. Well, the full story for that winds up being a very long, drawn-out thing, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. What I 
can boil it down to, though, is essentially a sort of skills development thing. I don't know if anybody who was watching the original content is still around, but as I said, it was bad. It is um, a certain, I don't know, monotone speech, and it's not the best camera angles and other stuff. Um, I do apologize for the shakiness that has been going on recently, uh, because there are plenty of times where I'm, you know, recording this, where I'm not pacing around the room, like, fucking, I don't know what you want to call it, but obviously pacing around the room. Um, my tripod broke. I do have a tripod. It's just, it's broken. So, I do, I need, I need to, order another one. I've got a shopping list of shit that I, I always put off actually placing the order until, God, sometimes two months later. It's, I don't I don't know why, but um, hopefully it's not too bad right now. I've kind of got my elbow supported and whatnot. And it, I'm not doing the, the um, image stabilization thing again. And that for whatever reason, at this distance, oh my god, it does horribly trippy things to the background, and I, I should have reviewed that a little bit better. But I'm not, I'm not doing that again. The tripod is definitely the right way to address that problem. So... Yeah. Where, am I, where am I going with this? What does this have to do with, with why I've been doing these? Essentially, it was really just personal growth. Um, get better at communicating, at expressing my ideas. Just, I'm sure it's obvious. I don't go off of a script. I, I don't type the things out and then, then, then do that whole thing. Um, I'm actually trying to do the, like, I don't want to say improvisation, but... Um, just on the spot talks about things. And, uh, you know, if the point is to make a very measured response to something, then yes, that should definitely be done with a script. But I, I, I want to essentially force myself to, to and I have been, uh, to, to go do the thing, review it, and spot my own, like, shit. I paused way too long there, or I'm, I'm doing all these little interjection pauses that are just awkward or things like that. I'm trying to improve my own on-the-spot speech. Um, it's been paying off, actually. It's been accomplishing the thing I wanted to do. But uh, that was part of the reason why it was you know, programming tutorials at first. Uh, those, if you haven't ever collected feedback from people should overwhelmingly actually be um, like written stuff, blog posts, especially uh, the programming community just generally prefers that kind of content. And I, I fully understand why. Um, I don't particularly care, but I'm weird. I, I can't take the things that are my preferences and apply them to people in general because it just doesn't work out reliably at all. Um, you shouldn't do that in general, by the way, but it definitely does not work well in my case. Uh, now, if you're not aware, and I can see that probably being the case, um, I don't know, people surprise me. I have been doing up uh, content on DevToe, and it's been going well. So I had said the point of me doing these videos is not popularity. Uh, that does not mean that I don't want educational information that I can provide to to not reach tons of people. Uh, that That is something that you would want. Um, it's just not the point of me doing videos. So at this point, I feel like it really makes sense to switch to uh, switch that style of content to something that would get considerably more. This is considerably more appropriate for it. Um, it's been one of my. I've been satisfied with the results so far. Two, three weeks 
three weeks, I think, into that. And I, I, I've been quite satisfied with um, how things are going, even just, you know, so new. But then, okay, if I take the programming stuff off and put it there, what, what even is this channel? What do I produce? Now, as I stated, part of the reason for doing tutorials was that it was going to spread that information that I would like to be spreading, but it's also that it's very simple. There's not a whole lot of personality that needs to be put into that because it's a tutorial. This You don't really need much of a personality for that. Don't be, you know, horribly monotonous, but that's basically it. And... That also means... You know, while it's easy to, to to start with, but there's not much opportunity to to go further. You figure out some personality stuff. And you work on in, in injecting that, and that, that's basically it. Plus, it's kind of limited in my instance, anyways, because. I have a rather serious personality in general, so that's that's limiting in that regards. Now, I don't... It's clear that I should find something, uh, a little more room to grow. Talking about tech isn't really it, so what? I don't, I don't know. I, I, I'm still mulling that over, but something that I've been thinking is that it might actually be a good idea to um, work on describing some of my own life experiences a bit better. Um, and one of the things I said that I've been thinking a lot about things and I realize I'm not that great at explaining um, sort of some of my idiosyncrasies and why I am the way I am and it would be good for me to work on explaining those things because um, inevitably people do provide feedback and you get called out on things and forced to either defend your view or be like, fuck, actually, you have some points. What I did was not dumb. Or uh, People provide additional insight and you realize you were misinterpreting something. Or you're just, I don't know, not explaining things well and people are asking for clarifications. And it's like, oh, hey, I'm not explaining that well. I should work on explaining that a little bit better. I, I think I think that's what I'm going to do for a while. It's just why am I? So have a good one, guys.